I'll say ls busco underscore summaries and I have them here. So it is from these summaries that we will generate the figure that I showed earlier on. So what we are going to do next is to visualize the busco results. So that means we are going to generate this figure. So to do that, we need the summaries which we have by the way, which are here. And we also need to execute the Python scripts, which I showed earlier on. So we will say generates underscore plots dot pi. And we say dash WD. And we specify the Busco summary directory, which is Busco underscore summaries. So let's execute this command. So once we do that, the figure will be generated. So the Python script we executed will aggregate all the summaries and then generates the plot for us. So now let's take a look at the output. So let's do an ls again. The figure will be found in the busco underscore summaries. So you can see ls busco underscore summaries. We are going to find the figure here. We also have this R script. Now let's open this file. So I am going to use my file manager. So this is a directory that has the summaries. It also has the figure. So let's open it and we are going to find our figure here. There's also this R script here. This is what was used to generate the plot. You can open it and then check the codes. So that is here. I'll close it. Okay, now this is the figure that we have been waiting for. So let's open it. Perfect. So this is the figure which has the results. And so once you have it, it becomes easier to compare them and also uh, make sense out of the data. So ideally, we should have a high percentage of complete buscos. And that is what we are seeing here. So looking at the color scheme here, we see that a high percentage of the genome assemblies are complete buscos, which is very good. So for the complete, we also have the breakdown. I talk about it. And this is how we do it.